What's up guys, I'm Krizak. Welcome back to Undertale, or should I call it Wondertale, because that's just how awesome this game is. I'm enjoying this game a lot. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. There's one thing I want to do before I actually got started here. I'm gonna go to the cell phone and call Toriel. I realized I could do this, and I just, I, I totally forgot to do this. Dialing. Dot, dot, dot. Nobody picked up. No! No! Okay, I'll keep trying. I'll keep trying in each new area. So every every time I uh, when I leave Snowden, I'll try in the next one anyway. So anyway, this is where we were last time. There's actually a path back here that I didn't go down last time. That I'm going to go down. This one right here. There's a giant hole in the wall. Uh, okay, I'm sure that is normal. That is totally normal. Eyes in the walls. That's good. Gif trot or GIF if you believe the creator. No, I'm just kidding. Gift trot confronts you. Uh, okay. Uh, check. Some teens decorated as a prank. Is this funny to you? See, I, I was thinking of choosing decorate. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Dang it. I was doing so well on that one too. Laments his lack of hands. Okay. See, I was gonna decorate it because I'm like, hey! What could possibly go wrong? Decorating is a nice thing, right? Everyone likes decorating. Undecorate. Remove the barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. That's a really a harsh decoration. That's a little better. No, 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 you can't catch me. You can't catch me. Too pro for you. Oh, it's this time I'm too pro. Did you do five damage to me last time? Holy crap. Slightly less irritated. You remove the box of non-dog related raisins. Though if you watch Food Fight, uh, and believe Food Fight, oh god. <laughs> and believe Food Fight, dogs love raisins. Gift trot is slightly less irritated. Undecorate. You remove the striped cane that says, I use this tiny cane to walk on it. A weight has been lifted. Gift trot's problems have been taken away. Boom! I don't know. I'm just, I'm just making shit up. So why are there eyes in the walls? I feel like that's not normal. Oh, who's this? Pretty things. Okay, so what is this? Is this water? What is this? Why is it all dark? What's a puzzle? Really? Uh. Um. Where's my hint? Do I get a hint? It's a door. Well, there's only so many combinations, I guess. I. I don't know. I don't. I. There's this thing here that has the five dots here. There's a pattern on the door that looks like it's wings and an upside down Triforce, but I don't know. Da -da. No, I don't know. Those two and that one? No, I have no idea. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to this later because I have no idea how to open that right now. I really have no idea. I tried like all the combinations I could think of. I didn't exhaust all the combinations. I could have tried more, but I was like, eh, I'm probably not supposed to be here guessing at it. So I'm gonna go take a walk up ahead. Ready to check this, right? It was the, the tiny dog. Must be bigger on the inside. Woof, right, the sign that says woof. Okay, so this is where we fought the dog last time. So this should be a new area. Um, Thingies, no thingies up there. All right, walk across this long ass bridge. Something tells me there's no going back now. Oh, hey guys. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the Gauntlet of Deadly Terror. Okay, that does look actually kind of dangerous. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part of each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm about to activate it now! Okay. Also, there's a dog on one of them. Why? That, uh, it doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. 
but this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Well, thank you for sparing me the trouble. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Pyrus. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Just papyrus things. Hashtag just papyrus things. I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. I do. They're like blue stop signs. I got it. Okay, so we got a flower here. I, I can't do anything with. Welcome to Snowden. Welcome to Snowden Town. I'm assuming the, it's the same exam all the way across. Yeah, it is. Okay. It was thieves, but that's lovely. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Yep. And the box. Use the box. Yes. Uh, yeah, I can just stick these in here. I don't think I'll need them for anything. All right. Shop. Hello, Chleverel. How can I help you? Oh, buy. What can I buy? A tough glove, a manly bandana, a vice. But this is a call? A cinnamon bun. Heals 22 HP. It's my own recipe. Huh. I don't need this. I don't need the, the, the plus attack, for sure. Manly bandana. That seems like a decent idea. Plus, I'm pretty sure DF is defense. I'm gonna get that. Buy it. Thank you for your purchase. No, I don't need another one. Just looking, no talk. Say hello. Hiya! Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Just lots of questions there, apparently. You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillbys has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Well, we kind of already got most of the town history, but hey! A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. They still kind of do. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages. So, unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. So yeah, I, I got in... Because, like, I tripped on that vine and fell down into Mount Ebbet, and that's how I got into the ruins, so... Apparently you're not supposed to get in there. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Amen. Okay, I'm done with that. Bye now, come again sometime. Possibly. I may. You might have a thing that I want. So hold on, what does this say? Don't want to walk the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Okay, maybe. I think I do want to walk across town though. Uh, hi, is that a dog? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum MP. Really? What's maximum HP? Did I say MP? <laughs> wow, too much L sword. Okay, um, I don't see any reason not to. I mean, it depends on how much it costs. Welcome to Snowed In. Ha! Ha, it's funny. So first, we were snowed in and snowed in, and now we found snowed in within snowed in after we got snowed in. You guys follow that? Good, there'll be a quiz later. One night is 80 G. Not right now, I don't think I need it right now. I don't think I need it right now. I don't think I do. For 80, 80 is a lot. So I'm gonna save again after I bought the glove. Or not the glove, the bandana. Yep, okay. And I didn't miss anything back there, I don't think, so let's head forward. And talk to Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Rabbit down there. That lady over there, something about her disturbs me. The fact that she looks like a toy? Like literally, she looks like a mannequin or a doll of some kind. Can I get into the house? Or you're, you're safeguarding the house. Is that, is that what you're doing? Is that, you're, okay. All right, fine. Hey. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable, tee hee. Bun 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 bun. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, all right. You just, I'm just gonna let you sit there and be weird. Awful teen has tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. You did it. You. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Aww, they're so nice. They're so nice. 
piece of them. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. That's so clever. It's like their own Christmas tradition because our Christmas tradition is obviously much different. It wasn't like a hundred years ago someone put decorations on a reindeer and or on an animal and then, yeah, we had to deal with the recompense of that. But they actually have like their own story. I like that. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Same, same dealio. Yes. Yes, I know. Hey, buddy. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. But I, I don't, I don't think that, whatever, who cares? It's brilliant. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. Hey, it's Grillbies. Grillbies. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Fish lady? There's a fish lady. Who the fuck is a fish lady? Let's go in here. Oh, hey guys. Okay, you're not gonna fight me again, are you? You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Cause that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Yeah, he already did. We're centuries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Get it? Throw a bone because they're skeletons. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. Makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Yeah, that's an interesting attitude for... Aren't you supposed to be like a mobster or criminal? Nah. Seems like an interesting attitude for one of them to have. Uh-oh. Okay. You do that, Mr. Bark. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Well, I mean, there's dogs playing poker and then there's dog playing poker. By himself and losing. Huh. What are these guys? Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Well, how about just let you go ahead and do that? No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and hot guys! That's not a joke for the internet to enjoy. Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Yeah, you seem like you'd be interested in that. But what the hell? What, what, are they, what does their food do then? Monster food just sits in their stomach and rots or something? Even more disgusting. Ugh, revolting monsters. The jukebox is broken. Oh, well, it's easy working just fine because the music's playing in the background. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. All right, Mr. Is that, is that a cool dog in sunglasses with an afro and a jogging suit? I can really get behind that. I like that. That's the thing. Grillbuzz? Grillbuzz said he'd offer me a glass of water, but doesn't touch the stuff. I think it's supposed to say Grillby, but it said Grillbuzz, so maybe not. All right. Still dot, dot, dot. Okay, I guess he doesn't touch the water because he's on fire. You get it? It might hurt him. So can I actually sit down in here? I guess the bartender was kind of hot. Ooh, you have more to say? No, you don't. So does everyone have like two things to say? And I've heard they have things called bathrooms. For centuries, yep. Okay, so I've already talked to you. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I want to be like Undyne when I grew up too. Hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> Whoopsies, nope. I guess I could ask out Undyne, but I think she likes someone already. Do you have anything to say? Thinking of getting a spiked color. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I don't, can I pick up the be the bottle or anything? No. I don't think I'd be allowed in there. There's a lot of alcohol and stuff in there, it seems. So, hey guys, what's up? Everyone's always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises: dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. 
Huh. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? That's a good question. Huh, but it seems to be what humans do, so... Let's play Monsters and Humans. I think that's what we're doing. That's kind of what this entire game is. I heard a sound. Okay. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? This one has a mustache. I guess he's the human. Oh, uh, to be young again, the world sure felt boundless. Uh-huh. What a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. <laughs> maybe you will, and maybe not. Okay, I'll do it. Ah, oh, my patience rewards me. Okay, well, I guess that was all there was to be had there. Well, this got ominous real fast. Nothing. I wonder if there would have been a thing here. You know what? Someone mentioned that I didn't put the, the fishing rod back in the water after. After I was done. Way back when, there was that fishing rod that I took out of the water. I'm wondering if this would be different if I had done that. You may never know. I may go back. I haven't decided yet. Uh, hey. What, what, what you doing? Just, just throwing ice in the water? That's just... It's the life of a burly dog, I guess. Wolf dog? I don't know. Life of a burly something or other. Anyway, let's go take a look. See what else there is in Snowden Town. Librarby. Librarby? Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Oh, I thought it was trying to be clever. Um, okay, I can't, I can't read books. I can't read books. I'm too young to read. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. It's nice. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. So you created that word search that I had to do. Which I actually did on the video, if you guys noticed. That was fun. I like that. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh, cold, damp swampland and searing heat. Until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Uh-huh. Because they're made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If the monster doesn't want to fight, his defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck the desire to kill, uh, let's end the chapter here. That's a scary thought. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Okay. Alright. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Not entirely incorrect. Humans with their physical forms are far stronger with us than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. No, no they won't. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> actually, that's, if that is the case, since the guy is obviously nuts, um, that is actually kind of an interesting idea. It's kind of an interesting ritual to let the person live on through leaving some part of them on something that they loved. It's like a physical part of them plus a an emotional part of them creates a being that lives on forever. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. The absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. That's true. They don't need them to exist, but we would mostly call those people soulless. Okay, uh, nothing else there. Okay, so I'm just hitting 20 minutes, and I think we're going to move on shortly here. I don't know. Let's take a look here. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. Sure. 
It's empty. Oh, poor guy. Sans has all this mail. <laughs> Papyrus is like nothing. So that would be their house probably. So, oh, I see this is the, the, that takes me across town. Interesting, I just want to look in here. It's locked from the inside. Okay, so I'm assuming I'm gonna have to go in there and that's gonna trigger the next part of the, the thing. So I'm gonna head back here. Hit up the save spot. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Save. And I'm gonna end the episode here because that's all I got. So thank you guys so much for watching. You can check out some more videos over there by clicking on them. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. I've had 17 different kinds of cancer, so I was kind of expecting it any day now. Anyway, if I'm dead, then why am I still here and why do I have my shopping trolley? Ugh. Guys, they just, they just, this just does not stop. This is just eternal torment. This is like what it's like to go to hell.